We need to be faithful to Jesus. It takes courage to live for the Lord. It takes courage to set the standard in your life to live for the Lord Jesus Christ. It takes courage to tell the unbelieving world that they need to repent and get right with God. And we are in an hour of the church where preachers have lost their backbone. They are no longer valiant for God's word. They're no longer valiant for the truth. They have lost their backbone and they are no longer courageous for the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to be courageous for God. We need to be radical on fire Christians. We have to have the fire of God burning in our hearts, not wanting to please the people, but looking to please God. And I believe that's the issue with the professing Christian church is that they want to be man pleasers. And if you want to be a man pleaser, you're not going to be a God pleaser. If you're going to be a man pleaser, what you're going to do is you're going to compromise God's word. You're not going to stand on his standard and preach it as it is black and white. Men must repent. If not, they're going to perish. That's just how it is. Men are going to go to hell and men are living in rebellion. They are living ungodly and unholy and the Lord is needing his church to have a backbone in this hour. We are moving into the last days and the professing organized church that you see out there with all their buildings and all their advertisements that they got posted up in their church buildings or on their church buildings. They're not having the backbone to stand for Jesus. They have lost their courage. They're not standing for the truth anymore. They have compromised God's word. And the Lord is needing his people to have a backbone in this hour. The Lord is needing his people to be bold as lions. The Bible says the righteous are as bold as lions. We need to be bold to tell the world they have to repent. They bold to play their demonic music while we out there in the world going to the Walmarts. You hear these unbelievers riding around with their demonic music. You hear their filthy conversation. They bold to stand for what they believe. We as the church need to be bold to stand for what we believe. We as the church need to be courageous for the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to be bold to set the standard in the land for the Lord Jesus and tell men that they got to repent. We have to have a backbone for the Lord Jesus. This is what God is saying right now. He's wanting his people to have a backbone and to be valiant for his word. And to not be afraid of the opinions of men. To not be afraid of the attitudes of men. But to tell the people what the Bible says. Black and white. The Bible says this. The Bible says that. Not watering it down. Not compromising God's truth like the professing organized churches. You see all these churches all over. They got churches on every corner of the street and they are compromising God's word. They are afraid to stand against the world and publicly denounce their sin and tell them that they got to repent. They got to turn to the Lord. They are in friendship with the world. They have compromised because they want men to like them and they don't want to face the hostility and the hatred that's going to come from the unbelieving world because when you stand on the standard of God's truth, it will make unbelieving men get angry. They will get upset and they will persecute you. There will be opposition and the professing organized church does not want to be persecuted so they compromise God's word and they bring a message of peace, peace when there is no peace. They bring a message of peace to these unbelieving people who are on their way to hell that don't have peace with God. There's no peace for the wicked. There's no rest with God for the wicked. They have to repent. They have to come to Jesus. They have to humble themselves. Yet how could they come to the Lord if God doesn't have a church that has the backbone to raise the standard of truth and tell these 
unbelieving people that they have to come to Jesus and repent or they're going to see the Lord in the judgment and he will cast them away. They will hear, depart from me, you who practice iniquity. God is needing us to have a backbone. Let's be bold for the Lord. Let's be courageous for God. Let's set the standard of truth. Cast away the opinions of men. Don't let the opinions of men dictate what you're going to say and how you're going to stand for God. Don't let the opinions of men dictate your standard of what you're going to stand on when it comes to God's Word. Because a lot of people, they set their own standards. They don't set a standard in the land of truth for the Lord Jesus Christ. They compromise. They water down God's Word. They tickle the people's ears. And we can't be ear-tickling Christians. We got to tell the people what the Bible says. We got to endure afflictions and do the work of an evangelist like the Apostle Paul encouraged us to do. Let us be faithful to the Lord. Let us be bold for Christ. Let us have a backbone in this hour. Let us be bold for the Lord. The righteous are bold as lions. Let us be bold and stand for Jesus. Let us be courageous. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Be faithful to the Lord. Don't compromise and soften up the blow of God's word simply because you want men to like you, simply because you don't want men to get upset with you, simply because you don't want men to have a wrong opinion about you and misunderstand you. Stand for Jesus and stand for his word without apology. The Bible says repent. Let us stand for Jesus in Jesus' mighty name.